Oh, there's Officer Clemens. Hi, Officer Clemens. Come Hello, in. Mr. Rogers, how are you? Fine. Won't you sit down? Oh, sure. Just for a moment. It's so warm. I was just uh, putting some water on my feet. Oh, it sure is. Would you like to join me? It looks awfully enjoyable, but I don't have a towel or anything. Oh, you share mine. Okay. Sure. Oh, Come along. Man. I'll put some more water in here. Oh. This is going to turn into a beautiful day. You like bare feet? Well, yeah. As I grew older, I liked it more and more. Uh-huh. Good for you. You're pulling up your pants. I forgot to do that at first. Oh, I don't want them to get wet. Right. Oh, that feel great. Right here. <laughs> you know, when you're a policeman, you do an awful lot of walking. And sometimes your feet get tired. Right. That feels better already. Good. Just massage them a little bit. Cool water on a hot day. Hmm. Well, thank you for your refreshments. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> You're welcome, Officer Clement. Shall we turn this off? Mm-hmm. Is that enough? Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Well, that was so enjoyable. I'm sorry I couldn't stay longer. Well, I know how busy you are. <sighs> but sometimes just a minute like this will really make a difference. There, that one's dry. And now, that one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Who can put your hand in my hand and be ready to feel all safe and strong? So you can do it, children do it all life long. There we are. You have great boots to fill, Officer Clements. And well, you thank fill you very them much. well. Thanks thank for you. stopping by. So long. Have a good day. Bye bye. Great to live in a neighborhood with special people like Officer Clements. Did you get it? Here it is. Oh, good. Are you sure they'll look the same? As sure as I can be. Let's just try. OK. Do you want to do it first? Why don't you go first? All right. Beautiful, Daniel. Yeah, but they're not orange and black. No, they're not. Now you try. Okay. They look about the same as mine. See what I mean? Mine weren't black, and yours weren't orange and black. But we're different colors, you and I. Why are our bubbles the same? Because bubbles don't have anything to do with the outside of us. It's our breath from the inside that helped make the bubbles. Oh. Could I try one more? Sure. Hmm. Mr. Clemens? Yes, Daniel? Why is everybody so different on the outside and so similar on the inside? I don't know. We do look very different, but we have many of the same feelings. I get sad sometimes, do you? Of course I do. And I get really happy sometimes, do you? I certainly do. And you know one of the reasons I'm happy right now? Why? Because I enjoy talking about serious things with you. 
and because I've just decided what I'd like to be in the opera. What is it? A porpoise. Oh, you mean like a big fish? Well, they do look like big fish, but you know, they're creatures like people. They need air to breathe, and they think and talk to one another. Porpoises are amazing creatures. I hope I can be one in the opera. Well, anything is possible in make-believe. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'd better get this back over to Handyman Negri. I enjoyed talking with you, Brother Tiger. Thank you. I did too, Brother Porpoise. <laughs> See you later. Could I hear something else that you sing? You certainly can. We're working on something you wrote. When the day turns into night. Oh, I'm pleased to know that. Okay, introduction, please. It's very nice. Very nice is <laughs> right. And I think of you when you go to all of those different countries and are away, far away. I'm certainly proud of you. Will you be using this song in your next tour? Oh, we certainly shall. All around the world. Oh, that'll make me feel good. <laughs> uh, with gratitude to Mr. Rogers of Rogers and Hammerstein, and of course to my Mr. Rogers, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Rogers, who was the personification of these ideals, we now have two songs for you that are all about human kindness. It is my great pleasure to perform for you, You Have to Be Carefully Taught, from South Pacific. Now, let's see here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Warming up a little there. Yum, 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 yum. All right, maestro, I'm ready. <laughs> You've got to be taught to let all that here. You've got to be taught from year to year. It's got to be drummed in your dear little ears. You've got to be carefully taught. You've got to be taught to be afraid of people whose eyes are oddly made and people whose skin is a different shade. You've got to be carefully taught. You've got to be taught before it's too late, before you are six or seven or eight, to hate all the people you're allowed to 
about these wonderful things going on over here at your farm. So I thought I'd just come on over and see how you're doing. Well, please, come in, sit down. Well, thank you very much. All right, thank you there. Well, Dr. Clemens, it's a pleasure to see you any day, especially today. It's been kind of a hard day for me. Hmm. Well, what exactly is troubling you, Chris? Well, Today is the day of our harvest tradition here on the farm. Mm -hmm. And I remember it the same way every year since I was a kiddo. And I wished for that today, but it's just not going as I wished. And I feel disappointed how it's changing. Well, what exactly is changing? What's different? Well, first, there's the banjo. We have to hear the strum of the strings of the banjo mm -hmm. to sing our special song. and. This year, Ethan, the only one who can play the banjo on the farm, he's hurt his arm. Oh. And he has to use a shaker instead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Very, very sorry. Will you be able to sing your special song anyway? Well, yes, but yeah. then there's the potato salad. Every year we have a special dish of potato salad on the harvest team. Mm. This year, all the potatoes are rotten. Oh. So we have to have sweet potato salad instead. Mm-hmm. Well. I love sweet potatoes, but um, if you eat sweet potatoes, will your stomach still be full? Yeah, yes, they mm -hmm. will. So, you'll have your special song, you'll have all your wonderful friends, you'll have eaten so that you're satisfied and happy, you'll all be together. I think you have every reason to be very, very happy. I think you're right, Dr. Clemens. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what's most important. I think so, too. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Clemens. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Dr. Clemens? Yes? Do you think we could sing together while you're here on the farm? Oh, I'd be delighted. Let's sing something you know, and I'll harmonize. OK. I, I like to harmonize. We could sing these days? Sure. OK, I'll give us a starting note. <laughs> OK. OK. <laughs> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. These days, these days, count them all, count them all, as they pass, as they pass, through spring and fall, through spring and fall, these days, these days, hold them tight, tight as they pass, into, into the night. Hold the stars, hold the moon, hold the dawn, hold the tune, to sing of life, to sing of life, to sing of day. your choice, how you live, how you love, how you pass these days. Oh, what a lovely song. Oh, thank you, Dr. Oh, it's so beautiful in the words. You're a very talented man, sir. Thank you. Mm. It's so wonderful to hear your voice. I enjoy singing with you. Dr. Clemens? Yes? Do you think you have time to stay and join us around the harvest table tonight? Oh, indeed. I, I'd be very delighted. Wonderful. Yes. OK. I think it's just about time. All right. Well, Let's lead the way. OK, right this way. Mm -hmm. 